Good morning and welcome to Storytime. Happy Friday, wherever you're joining us from. I am so glad that we're here together indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining in. Please let us know where you are and who is joining in with you. And of course, we're here for a beautiful book to round up this week. And this one is called The Sky is the Limit. And it is written uh, by Ralph Laza and Lisa Swirling. And yes, the full title... The sky is the limit, a celebration of all the things you can do. So join in for this one. Get comfortable, get cozy, get ready for this one. It's coming right up. Thank you so much for joining in today. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. And it feels good for me today, too, to actually have a day, a day off work. So that feels extra, extra nice. We can be here together and then can get to relax afterwards. Thank you so much for joining in. And um, yeah, I just hope that you are having a wonderful day. I hope that your week has been a good one. And of course, too, we've seen with all the smoke and fires that are happening um, out on the East Coast, uh, um, US um, uh, Northeast and also um, Nova Scotia and, uh, you know, that eastern part of Canada. So please, please spare your thoughts. And um, and of course, to take care of yourselves if you're in the affected regions. Uh, if it's masking up, please mask up. If um, Follow the health guidelines in your area. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Glad that we're here together and we can enjoy a book together. And yes, we continue to look at books this week on Storytime that continue to celebrate and look forward to tomorrow. Yes, a brighter tomorrow. And um, lots has been achieved this um, this school year and of course this week for you too so I hope that you get a moment to slow down like we read in the book pause it doesn't have to be fast forward all the time and if you have the, the opportunity to do it please take a moment to, to just pause and um, take care of yourself and of course Take stock. Look at all the things that you have achieved. Congratulations to you. Well, job well done. Yes, thank you so much for joining in today. And I am glad that we're here together. Look at the amazing lineup that we've had this week. Books. Uh, just books to save right there. Uh, we started off um, the week with I Wish You More, and then we read Tomorrow Most Likely. Then, of course, we have things to do. It is the summer. And then we went into Nia and the new free library. Building a library is not easy, but with community, it was done. Thank you so much for joining in. And today, yes, we look at all the things that we can do, and we know that the sky is the limit. Maybe it is not even the limit. It is beyond that. Thank you so much for joining in story time and then of course um on june 15 now we say next week it's happening amanda davis and michelle jing chan will be here live on story time and they will be reading their brand new book moonlight memories so excited for that one excited for them to be here with us um so yeah join us make a date for um, June 15th and come on out and join us next week, Thursday. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And uh, I must say too, at this point that um, next week, 
uh, because of work and trainings and everything that has to happen, story time will be uh, Monday through Wednesday will be pre-recorded. And then on Thursday, we are here live with um, Amanda Davis and Michelle Jing Chan. And of course, Friday will be here live as well. So um, all that information will be coming up later on the story time platforms. Thank you so much for being here. Let us see this morning who is here with us, ready to enjoy a wonderful story. Thank you so much for joining in story time. Absolutely appreciate you good morning to you owen miles is very interested in mountains so he will catch this one later after school well enjoy yourself thank you so much for joining in um yes please sh do share um uh, the, the the bits that you learn about mountains of course the bits that you already know about mountains thank you so much for joining in miles we wish you all the very best and of course owen thank you for being here with us as well enjoy thank you so much for joining us on story time christian costa good morning to you I hope that you're having a lovely start to your Friday. Thank you so much for joining us. Kennedy Kapolio Kampamba, thank you so much for joining in all the way out in Turkey. Good evening to you for sure. Thank you so much for joining in. Yes, it is much later in the day for you. Thank you for being here. I hope that you're well. Thank you indeed, Kennedy, for joining in. And um, yes, always a pleasure to see you here with us on Storytime. Thank you indeed. And um, yes, we hope that you've had a lovely day and we hope that your evening is even better. Better. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. Happy Friday from Nathan and Sarah. Thank you for being here with us. And of course, Indy, we do not forget you. Thank you so much for joining in. Who's decided she wants to hear today's story? Well, yes, yes, Indy. Welcome back to Life Story Time. We appreciate you. Wishing a good weekend to all our Storytime friends. Oh, hugs to you, my dears. Thank you so much for that wonderful, lovely message and indeed all the positive vibes. And we continue to send them out, send them out into the world. Yes. Thank you so much for being here. Nathan and Sarah and, of course, Amanda West. And, of course, Indy. We do not forget you. Thank you so much for joining in on Storytime today. Good morning to you, Ari, out in Kentucky. And, of course, Megan. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. How is your day going? Good to see you here with us. And I hope it's not too hot. Uh, out there and um, I hope that you are having a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Good morning to you, Soraya, and of course, Sharon Lungo, right here in Oakland. Thank you so much for joining in. Yes, the school year has come and gone, and now we look forward to the summer. Lots to celebrate, and that's why we're partly reading this book today. The Sky is the Limit, a celebration of all the things you can do. This one is written by uh, Lisa Swirling and uh, Ralph Laza. And of course, we're reading this one with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. A big thank you to them. And I'm sitting here next. There's a big pile of books that just came in from Chronicle Books. I'm excited to share that one with you as well. Once curated, Keep an eye out for all the amazing books that will be coming to us from Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, if you know any publishers that would love to have their books shared here on Storytime, please send them our way. And of course, independent publishers as well. And of course, self published. Please send them our way. We want to make sure that we cover their stories here as well. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Please get comfortable, get cozy, and get ready for this amazing story. I'll catch you on the other side of this short break when we are back for more Storytime. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Amanda Davis. I am the author of Moonlight Memories. Hi, my name is Michelle Jing Chan, and I'm the illustrator for Moonlight Memories. Moonlight Memories releases on June 13th with Worthy Kids, Hachette Book Group. The story follows a young girl named Piper who is dealing with grief after losing her mom. Her dad gifts her a telescope and she begins to use this to see patterns in the stars, which she transforms into sketches and drawings of memories with her mom. Through this story, Piper learns how to find healing and to process her emotions through the beauty of creativity and the arts. And the text was inspired by my own personal experience with the loss of my father when I was young. I used art and writing as a tool to help process and heal. And I didn't know it at the time, but it was providing me with comfort and still does to this day, comfort and healing and um, calm. 
For the illustrations, I also drew upon my own experiences with grief and the experience of losing my grandmother. I was really drawn to the whimsical language Amanda uses in the manuscript and how she's able to portray difficult emotions such as grief in such a beautiful and whimsical way. And we are so excited to be coming to Storytime with Mr. LaMada on June 15th. We can't wait to see you there and talk more about the book. So we will see you then. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. And yes, we look forward to having Amanda Davis and Michelle Jing Chan here on Storytime. Thank you so much for being here. Well, you ask, why am I laughing? Well, <laughs> great question from all of you. Great question, Ari. Yes, why am I laughing? So um, just on the break, I just um, went back. I've, I've had this book sitting here on... Um, on the desk for a while of course i every now and then i just open it and read something and laugh and um so you know it's dad jokes but it's still it's one of those books that just makes me laugh and here's one i thought i should just give you one <laughs> please forgive me <laughs> but i think i have to do this all right so this one says um a dad is talking to their son and they say what do you feel like for what do you want for dinner and the son says, I feel like spaghetti. And the dad is like, oh, that's funny. You don't look like spaghetti. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But I had to do it. And it's, it's over. It's over 301 jokes in here. So if you want some cringeworthy jokes and just, you know, um, um, I think this is one of the best dad book jokes that I've come across. But thought I should share that one. Let's go to our book for today, though. The sky is the limit, a celebration of all the things you can do. <laughs> Written by Ralph Lazar and Lisa Swirling. And we're reading this one with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. <laughs> I promise I'll stop laughing. I will, <laughs> I will get to reading. <laughs> oh. The sky is the limit. A celebration of all the things you can do. Lisa Swirling and Ralph Blazer. And read with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Here we go. <laughs> A world full of wonder is waiting for you. No, oh, yes it is. A world full of wonder is waiting for you. <laughs> oh. Yeah, go out, explore. The sky is the limit of what you can do. A world full of wonder is waiting for you. The sky is the limit of what you can do. There are roads to be traveled. Yes, indeed. A world full of wonder is waiting for you. The sky is the limit of what you can do. There are roads to be traveled. Yes. <laughs> there are roads to be traveled and dreams to unfold. There are roads to be traveled and dreams to unfold. <laughs> Magic to conjure and tales to be told. <laughs> there are dreams to unfold, magic to conjure, and tales to be told. Oh. <laughs> yes, indeed. Cakes to be gobbled. Oh, I'm here for that. <laughs> Please tell me it's chocolate cake. <laughs> Cakes to be gobbled and spoons to be licked. <laughs> there are cakes to be gobbled and spoons to be licked. 
Oh, yes, indeed. Are you that person that also laughs to bake? <laughs> Cupboards to hide in and friends to be tricked. Oh, yes. <laughs> Are you a trickster too? Mm -hmm. Yes, there are dreams to unfold. Cakes to be gobbled, spoons to be licked, cupboards to hide in, and friends to be tricked. I mean, what are friends for, right? <laughs> oh. Feet to be tickled and backs to be scratched. Oh. <laughs> Maps to be followed and plans to be hatched. Oh, yes. What are you thinking today? What are those brilliant ideas that you have? <laughs> there are friends to be tricked, feet to be tickled, and backs to be scratched. Maps to be followed and plans to be hatched. Oh, yes. <laughs> Bikes to be ridden. Oh, I might go on a bike ride today. Why not? And fences to mend. Oh, yes. There are feet to be tickled. <laughs> Bikes to be ridden. And fences to mend. Oh. So much to do, isn't there? <laughs> fortunes to squirrel and fortunes to spend. Oh. <laughs> yes, there are fortunes to squirrel and fortunes to spend. <laughs> Look at that ice cream. Crazy, right? <laughs> Trees to be clambered and bubbles to pop. Lakes to be dived in and bellies to flop. <laughs> oh, that sounds amazing. Trees to be clambered and bubbles to pop. Lakes to be dived in and bellies to flop. <laughs> oh. Costumes to dazzle. <laughs> Costumes to dazzle. Lakes to be dived in. Bellies to flop. <laughs> oh. And parties to throw. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> Please invite me. <laughs> yes, bellies to flop, lakes to be dived in, and parties to throw. <laughs> Congratulations. Ah, oh, the graduates out there. Rainstorms to run in. I think it's more running away from. <laughs> Rainstorms to run in and flowers to grow. Oh, yes. <laughs> Rainstorms to run in. Don't know about that. And flowers to grow. <laughs> oh. Teams to be a part of. Oh, and trophies to shine. Yay. <laughs> oh. There are teams to be a part of and trophies to shine. <laughs> Beans to be planted. And beanstalks to climb. <laughs> there are beans to be planted and beanstalks, well, to climb. <laughs> be careful going up there. 
<laughs> oh. Knots to untangle and beats and boats to be sailed. <laughs> well, maybe beats to listen to, too. <laughs> to be listened to. <laughs> Knots to untangle and boats to be sailed. Where are you going? How far will you sail? <laughs> Hills to be rolled down. Oh. <laughs> and maybe even some sledding, right? Hills to be rolled down. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> and peaks to be scaled. Hills to be rolled down on. And peaks to be scaled. And yes, may you reach the highest of those peaks and peaks to be sailed, to be scaled. <laughs> oh. Causes to work for. Oh, absolutely. Please check in your community. Check with your local library. What can you do to help your community? What can you do to participate? What is something that you're interested in that needs you? Causes to work for and letters to write. Oh. <laughs> Remember to, to write to your elected officers. Let them know how they're doing. Hold them accountable. But of course, write letters to loved ones too. <laughs> Causes to work for and letters to write. <laughs> Oh. Stars to sleep under and friends to hold tight. Please hold on tight. <laughs> yes. Stars to be to sleep under and friends to hold tight. Hold on tight, friends. <laughs> Hold on tight to them. <laughs> Lives to imagine and hands to be held. <laughs> yes, friends to hold tight, hold on tight. Lives to imagine and hands to be held. Aww. <laughs> Poems to whisper and songs to be yelled. Oh. <laughs> Poems to whisper and songs to be yelled. Yes, songs are meant to be sung out loud, right? <laughs> Poems to whisper. And songs to be yelled. Oh. <laughs> Lessons to learn and books to be read. <gasps> yes, indeed. Lessons to learn and books to be read. Each holding a glimpse of what lies ahead. Yes. Lessons to be learned and books to be read, each holding a glimpse of what lies ahead. No. <laughs> books to be read, take me there, please. On land and by air and in dreams that come true with blue skies and sunshine. <laughs> Of course, there are books to be read. Yes, sorry. <laughs> On land and by air and in dreams that come true with blue skies and sunshine. Oh. 
<laughs> with blue skies and shun and sunshine sunshine ha <laughs> <laughs> this world awaits you. Oh, go on, explore. I hope I wish you all the exploring in this world. <laughs> and that is the end of our book. But I'll just go back on this one. Yes, on land and on air, on land and by air, and in dreams that come true with blue skies and sunshine. Ah, oh, this world awaits you. <laughs> and that is the end of our book for today the end of our story i love it so much the sky is the limit thank you so much for joining in story time today i'll catch you on the other side of this short break remember who's coming here to story time to join us on june 15th so be ready for that i'll see you on the other side hi everyone my name is amanda davis i am the author of moonlight memories Hi, my name is Michelle Jing Chan, and I'm the illustrator for Moonlight Memories. Moonlight Memories releases on June 13th with Worthy Kids, Hashtag Book Group. The story follows a young girl named Piper who is dealing with grief after losing her mom. Her dad gifts her a telescope, and she begins to use this to see patterns in the stars, which she transforms into sketches and drawings of memories with her mom. Through the story, Piper learns how to find healing and to process her emotions through the beauty of creativity and the arts. And the text was inspired by my own personal experience with the loss of my father when I was young. I used art and writing as a tool to help process and heal. And I didn't know it at the time, but it was providing me with comfort and still does to this day, comfort and healing and um, calm. For the illustrations, I also drew upon my own experiences with grief and the experience of losing my grandmother. I was really drawn to the whimsical language Amanda uses in the manuscript and how she's able to portray difficult emotions such as grief in such a beautiful and whimsical way. And we are so excited to be coming to Storytime with Mr. LaMada on June 15th. We can't wait to see you there and talk more about the book. So we will see you then. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Welcome back. Welcome back. I was like, I bent down my head and my hair is all over the place. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. More dad jokes that I've been laughing at here. Thank you so, so much for joining in. I hope that you enjoyed the story that we had for you today. A beautiful one indeed. The sky is the limit. A celebration of all the things you can do. And I hope that you get to have a life full of adventure, of course, and uh, exploring, whether locally or internationally or however you do it. But I wish you a life that you want. Thank you so much for joining in story time today. Absolutely appreciate you. And I must say to Amanda, thank you so much for sharing. Say, I love dad jokes so much. <laughs> Our house is full of bad dad jokes and grown worthy puns. It's everything I dreamed adulthood would be. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for joining in. Yes, if you've not checked this one out, please do check it out. Lots and lots in here too. That just every time just make me make me laugh. Here's another one now. Where can I go to learn how to make ice cream? Oh, let's say you go to Sunday school. <laughs> Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop now. Thank you so much for being here, friends. Absolutely appreciate it. Yes, books to be read. Of course, there are books to be read. Thank you so much, Ari. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining in. So many adventures. Miles will love this one. Well, thank you indeed. So good to know. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of the day. Owen, thank you so much for being here with us. And of course, Kristen, thank you so much for being here with us as well on Storytime. Soraya and Sharon Lungo, thank you so much for joining us right here in Oakland. Thank you for being here. I hope that your summer break is off to a flyer. Thank you so much for being here. Amanda, 
Thank you so much one more time. And of course, Nathan and Sarah out there in Illinois. Thank you for being here with us on Storytime. We appreciate you. And you're saying wishing a good weekend to all our Storytime friends. Thank you so much for joining in. And Indy, we do not forget you. We want you to come back to Storytime. So we see you. And of course, we send you lots of hugs. Thank you so much for being here with us on Storytime. Kennedy, couple your Kampamba all the way out in uh, Turkey. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime today. I am glad you were here with us. I hope that you have a wonderful evening out there in Turkey. We know it is much later in the day. Thank you for joining in for a nighttime story. Thank you for being here with us. Absolutely appreciate you. And of course, somebody's out scaling mountains, scaling peaks. Well, we wish you the very best, Miles. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, Owen, thank you so much for being here with us. Kristen, and to all the loved ones as well. And those joining us later on for the recordings, well, we send you love. We hope that you have a wonderful day and we're glad that you're here with us. Please remember to leave us a message. Say hello so we can say hello back to you and so we can know you were here with us on Storytime. Tell us what books you like. Tell us what books you'd like to see here on Storytime. Thank you, as always, to you and, of course, all the publishers out there as well who've allowed us to share so many wonderful books here on Storytime. And we continue. Many amazing books will be coming. Next week, we're back. More amazing books. And, of course, Friday or oh, Thursday, we look forward to having Michelle Jing Chan and, of course, Amanda Davis with their brand new book, Moonlight Memories, a beautiful book indeed, I must say. I cannot wait for all of you to see it if you've not had a chance to see it yet. It comes out officially on June 13th, so not many people may have it, but we are lucky to be having it here on Storytime. A big thank you to you worthy kids for allowing us to share that wonderful book here on Storytime. This has been Storytime for today, friends. This has been Storytime for this wonderful, wonderful Friday. I hope it is indeed a wonderful one for you. Did you say we end with a dance party? Why not? It's Friday, so here we go. Please get up, get your dancing shoes, get ready. We're signing off with some dancing today before we are gone. Thank you, thank you for being here with us. Here we go. <laughs> Story time with Mr. Limada. I see you, Ari. <laughs> I see you, Owen. <laughs> Come on, get up, Nathan, Sarah. <laughs> all your dreams come true. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Brings to life your very stories. A big, big smile. You won't be lonely. Watch your star. All the reading, you just can't wait to be hearing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I see you. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dreams come true. Go Soraya, go Soraya. <laughs> oh, friends, thank you so much for joining in. I'll see you again next week for more story time. Much love from me. Bye bye. <laughs> You're very different from the way that I look and think. Read me all of your stories. Read me all of your stories. Some stories from far away, others right here in my neighborhood. Story time. Story time. Story time, Story time with Mr. Lamada. It will be starting soon. Story time with Mr. Lamada, where all your dreams come true. Oh, it brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't be lonely. 